Hi everyone, Roger here from Acid Car Experts YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how to check your cylinder walls and your valves for potential damage. You might wonder what kind of damage you might see inside of your engine. You could see scoring on your cylinder walls, some uneven wear from the piston slapping only on one side from a loose wrist pin, or you could actually see your valves not opening. You could see that your valves are burned on the exhaust or intake side. And you might also be able to see if there's carbon buildup on the back of your valves while they're open and the pistons all the way down the bottom. You do need a bore scope to check inside the engine to check the cylinder walls and the valves. And there's one tool in particular that I find extremely helpful and that's the Teslong articulating 180 degree video scope. So I'm gonna use this device to show you inside of this Z3 M54 engine. We're gonna take a look at the cylinder walls and the valves. But what's great about this particular tool is it has this wheel on it and watch the end. This is awesome. It articulates 180 degrees. So you can stuff this inside the cylinder and then look upwards to get a really great picture of what the valves look like and if you can find any damage. Now, unlike a regular boroscope like my Snap-on, it's night does have a nice small head on it and it does have a straight and side camera, but you can really only go straight in. You have no control over the positioning of your actual camera. It makes it way more difficult to find what you're looking for, unlike this tool right here, which this is integrated into a smartphone. You do need a cable. This is USB-C. It will actually charge your smartphone as well. This is Apple and Android compatible. Let's turn it on. It's just an on button on the side over here. That went green, and you can see it's actually charging, and it just found the camera. So now I can actually articulate it and look everywhere I need to. And we're going to stuff that into the cylinders and take a look and see what we can see. They do give you this great phone adapter so that you don't have to worry about holding the phone. And even with my giant phone, because I like big phones, it actually fits perfectly and then this would screw on to the unit just like this. So here's my setup. I have my bore scope in cylinder one. And you can see, you can kind of watch what's happening. And you do have to bring the piston down. So you can just take a look. This is a shot of the top of the piston. So we can take a look at the piston top. It actually looks great, it's very clean can see how clear this image is. Now, if you do have a bore scope in the hole here, you wanna make sure you're not gonna stuff it all the way in and then turn the engine over, which I have a breaker bar on, on the central bolt. So I'm gonna turn the engine over. If I'm too deep, I could actually damage my camera, especially, see, here comes my piston. If I had this jammed in there and I'm bringing my piston up to the top, I could impact the camera and actually damage the camera. We don't want to do that. So I'm actually just in the spark plug hole and you can see just the corner of the threads right there. So now I'm going back down. So once I get towards the bottom, I could actually go in farther with the scope now and we can move things around to take a look at the cylinder wall. And I can look all around the cylinder wall. And you can see actually this car has some great cross hatching still. So the internal engine and the cylinder walls in this cylinder look great. And I'm just at a slight degree. Look at that, that's beautiful. All right, so I wanna look at my valve. So I need to go further in and then I'm just gonna turn the knob here more. So I'm at a very sharp angle here. So now I can take a great look at the valves. And I just have to rotate it, see how clean these are. You can see if you have any burnt valves, you'd be looking at the edges right here of the valve. And you'd see kind of like this, this is a little bit of carbon right here. But if you had a burnt valve, you'd see like lines almost, like etching. And you'd see tiny pieces missing. Now, if I continue turning the engine over, but this is a great shot. You can see all of the valves 
here we go. There's my valves opening. So now you can check to see if your intake valves are opening. I can even see if I have any carbon on the stem using this tool. And this cylinder looks great. The valves look clean. So again, this is a great tool to check if you had an internal engine problem to check your cylinder walls and your valves for any kind of issues. And I have this cylinder leakage tester, so we're gonna use this to see if we have any cylinder leakage and we can use this to hear where the air is escaping to try to determine if it might be coming from an intake valve, an exhaust valve, in the cooling system or through the rings. This will help us determine where that leakage is coming from. Now you might wonder what this is right here. This actually on the M54, the pistons made to help um, atomize the fuel better. So it has these raised ridges. We'll take a good look at these when I actually get the cylinder head off, which is gonna be coming off shortly on this particular engine. You can see how great this tool is. The, the image quality is absolutely amazing. Again, I can look at my cylinder walls. I can see the cross hatching. If I'd be looking for any kind of scoring on, on uh, the cylinder walls, uh, any kind of damage, you can see right here, this is how you can see this ridge at the top. All right, so this ridge is nothing to worry about. Um, this is as high as the piston goes. So the piston is cleaning the cylinder walls. This is a little bit of oil residue left over and that's all that is if you see that that's towards the top you can see right there there we go that's a better shot there's a little bit of carbon buildup, and that's just as high as the piston goes all right now i'm in cylinder two let's take a look at cylinder two cylinder two again you want to check the top of your piston everything looks good on the top of the piston and we'll go a little bit deeper towards the bottom and then rotate up Till I can see my valves. Beautiful shot. Now I can take a look, go a little bit towards the bottom there. You can even see the scope itself right there in the center coming through the center, right? That's my scope. And it's really a great way to check to see if you have any major damage that you could find or a valve not sealing correctly. Look at that, that's a great picture. Now I just need to turn it to check the cylinder walls. And that's the reflection. There's my the bottom of the piston. I can see the cylinder wall there. This is a better way to do it. Just yeah, so you have an idea of, of what you're looking at. I can raise up. And again, cylinder number two, great cross hatching. These cylinders look amazing. I think the issue on this particular engine, the uh, head bolts have pulled out. So I'm gonna be doing a time cert repair as long as my block is true, which I bought a straight edge. We're gonna be doing that test also. Let me just take a look at the other cylinders and see if I can see anything more interesting than what we've seen. Everything else looks pretty great in this engine so far. So here's a traditional borescope, and this is what we can see. It's very dark. I have to go all the way down to the bottom to see just a tiny bit of the piston, right? And I see this black thing here, right? That's just the shape of the uh, piston that we saw. That's that mound that helps disperse the air and fuel. But you wouldn't even know what that was using a traditional borescope. Now, if I switch this to side view, because I want to try to look at the top, I can see the walls good. All right, so that's the side view. I can see my cylinder walls. I can raise it up and down. Again, there's a lot of glare. Not as good of a picture as with the test long 180, but I want, if I want to see my valves, I have to come up. And just like this, I can catch just the edge of the valves. But I have to be in the spark plug hole and just at the exact point, there it is right there, to see my valves, which, you know, you can see maybe the side view slightly better if you're trying to look for carbon. You just kind of go up and down and, and catch the valve. But regardless, this is a great tool. You can't beat the test long 180 to flip around and actually look at the valve, valve tops. So that's a quick comparison of the test long 180. Highly recommend actually owning one of these. This is a great tool. I think they run 
about $199, so just under $200, depending if you get one that you're going to use your phone as a screen or you can buy one that actually has a screen attached to it. I'll put a link up in the uh, corner over here and I'll put in the description box to help you find this Amazon product. Again, it is affordable and it is a great tool to have. This is a great way to check your valves on your engine and there's pl plenty of other uses too because I could go down and the exact angle that I want when I have, if I have a traditional boroscope, I have no control over how the end moves and it's very difficult to find what you're looking for sometimes. So this tool, beautiful display, 720 HD image, has type C charging. Uh, for Android and you can use an Apple also you just have to have the Apple connector to it It has a USB and a USB-C on the side uh, I believe this is the Teslong TD100 inspection camera has a two to three hour work time and This version right here is 189.99 and the one with the 4.5 screen is 199.99 and this is a great automotive DIY do-it-yourselfer tool which is affordable and you can also use it for other things house projects going into walls and being able to really see what's going on so for checking your valves in your engine that Tesla 180 is a great tool and I didn't find any kind of internal engine damage actually I'm pleasantly surprised that the cross hatching looks amazing on the cylinder walls the valves look great now I got to pull this head off and make sure that the block is viable, make sure that the sleeves didn't lift up on uh, the cylinders because if they did lift up and you can catch them with your finger, that means the sleeves, BMW sleeves on this engine, if they lift it up, that actually means I have to replace the engine or the block. Hopefully I just have a little bit of warpage of the cylinder head which can be machined off using it and then I can use an oversized cylinder head gasket to seal and then I can use time certs to actually repair the engine threads and put this engine back together and get her running again. Lots more great content to come. We're going to be using the snap-on cylinder leakage tester to try to determine where the leakage is coming from in my engine. I also have a video where I did a compression test on all the cylinders and you can see how good or bad that was. It was actually pretty bad. And I'll put a link up in the corner over here for you as well in case you want to check out that video. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please remember to like and subscribe. Help me grow my channel. I definitely need your help to help uh, reach as many people as possible with the content that I'm providing. Hopefully you found it helpful. It's a lot more to come. We're gonna be ripping apart this M54 engine. We're gonna pull the intake off. We got a lot of great things to do with this particular engine right here. It's gonna be a lot of fun and hopefully educational for everybody.